Hi. So, I just finished modifying my um, Behringer 140 dual envelope generator in LFO. Um, and I figured I'd make a quick video about it because um, it's quite a, a handy little mod. And yeah, maybe someone will find it useful. Um, basically, it always kind of bugged me that, that you would have um, a gate in and um, if you wanted to run the two envelopes from one gate, um, you had to get like a, a tip-top stackable cable and jumper it, um, which works fine. Um, but I always kind of figured it would be a nicer solution just to have that built in. Um, so I decided to do that. And it's a, a fairly simple modification, although it does require unsoldering at least one um, jack socket. <clears throat> so basically, um, you have um, this jack socket here. Um, you, 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 okay. What you want to first do is, is remove these, these six screws. Um, and of course the, the knob, you can just pull that off. <clears throat> and, um, and then what you have to do, the front panel can come off, and then what you have to do is um, desolder these four points, remove the jack plug. And on the, on the other side, on this side, there is, um, uh, it, on these little solder terminal points, um, on... Alright, on, on this this one here, on the other side, there are these three little um, tracks that connect this terminal to Earth. You can maybe see them on the video here, this one, there are four. Um, and, yeah, all you have to do is cut them. This terminal doesn't actually do anything, it's just connected to Earth. Uh, essentially what it would do when you have... Um, uh, when you don't have a jack plugged in, um, a patch cable rather plugged in, uh, it would send the, the tip uh, part of the, the socket, which is this here, to earth. Um, and yeah, it's kind of redundant. I, I think it's just a solder point and it's like, okay, we'll, we'll make some, some extra grounding because um, it's better than not having it. I don't know. Um, but yeah, you just cut the, uh, the stuff away. I, I would recommend, um, if you've got a multimeter, just to check, make sure that you have cut that away properly, because it is pretty small and finicky to see. Uh, to see. I've got pretty good eyes, but even I had to, um, use a magnifying glass to, to double check. Um, and, and of course the multimeter. Um, but yeah, and then, uh, you just put the thing back in, um, solder it in place, uh, and then you run a wire from here to here. And you can, um, you, can either, you can do it the other way around, um, so like it, the way I have it here is you plug in here and it will send that trigger to here as well, or gate, whatever you want to call it. Um, but if you plug in here, it will it'll just run this independently. And of course if you have one plugged in here and then you plug one in here, it um, obviously yeah, that, then you want it to, it, it'll, it'll run independently. Um, this will be clear. I'll, I'll make a little vi a demonstration video at the end of this. Um, yeah, so, and, and the way to do that would be, yeah, you would have to unsolder this jack as well and cut the, the um, tracks that are around this one. And I think from looking at it, it has another one on this side as two, just to make it extra difficult. Because otherwise that would be really easy just to cut the tracks around there and then solder that terminal to that and it would be done but unfortunately it really does look like if you look right in there there is at least one track connecting that to ground uh from this side so yeah and of course yeah if you if you pull both of these off um you can do the the mod to both sides and then have have it do um the same thing on both sides so you plug one in here it will trigger those you plug one in here it will trigger those and you will uh, plug it in both and they'll be independent um, yeah, also the, um, this modification, um, as I say, it doesn't, um, even though you're cutting, whoops, even though you're cutting tracks in here, it, it, uh, it doesn't affect the way it runs. You'll see that in the, um, in the video, in the demonstration video. Um, 
yeah, other than that, it's uh, it's a pretty straight, straightforward little mod, and it works really well. So, what would be a mod demo without a quick demonstration? Um, I have a VCO going to a VCF, going to the VCA, and the envelope generator controlling said VCA. Um, gate from my Keystep Pro is going in here, and. Yeah, that sounds thusly. And if I take that out and plug it into envelope 2, you can see the gate is triggering. And if I want to say take another gate source, like from my marbles currently, and put it in here, it overrides this gate. And exactly what we want. And what we can also do plug that back in there and then control our VCF from envelope 2 so as simple as that hope this is uh, helpful to someone and uh, if you have any questions um, just leave them in the comment section I will endeavor to answer them um, but I guess it's also pretty self-explanatory all right then take care